or chief <laughs> meteorologist. I hear you got a chuckle out of the <laughs> Well, not that <laughs> the, the theory is iPhones. a good thing, but it's like it just shows this crazy value of those phones. Or how, I mean, yeah. How, a, but am I out of touch? I wouldn't I, wait in line I for a gonna, phone. I wouldn't either. Like, It'll no. probably be like 10 years from now before I actually get right. the iPhone 10. <laughs> and in a month or two or even less, won't it be ready? You can just, or I don't know. Uh, I, maybe I'm just not fun, right? I, I, they're having a lot of fun in that line there, not me. Uh, got a lot of cloud cover in the picture. Have some wind in the picture. Got a lot of changes coming in. We've been alerting you of the changes, and one of them was that the temperatures are coming down. Certainly that hasn't let us down at all. Look at those numbers. There's still some areas in the 60s right now. You throw in some wind with that, and yeah, it feels a little blustery out there. But let's talk about the weekend, because you'll want to know what to expect. Still expect temperatures uh, right around the 70 degree mark, some a little above too. I mean, we're talking middle 70s for a fun food event there, but we're still keeping the wind in. That is not going to change. If anything, we're ramping up the winds a little stronger for the coming weekend. Las Vegas Rib Fest as well. Uh, we're still talking temperatures in the 70s, but also winds up there 20, 30, 35 miles per hour at times. And uh, what's interesting now, uh, one of the major changes, not only that the winds are ramping up even more, but that the rain chances have been reduced each day. So we're pulling them back a little bit more today because this looks like more of a wind event than anything else. So we're lowering the rain chances uh, we certainly had them in uh, kind of sparse for the weekend, but now they're non-existent, at least for uh, the Las Vegas Valley. And then for even early next week, it looks like more wind and then mild conditions set in rather than any sort of rain. So, I mean, I guess if we put it in percentages, uh, we've dropped it down to maybe just 10%. So almost, almost not worth mentioning, but either way, just giving you the heads up that those rain chances, it'd be hard to get a shower in the valley as dry as these systems are. Uh, but they're bringing wind with them, I'll tell you that. And they're gonna drop temperatures down. So 70s, 50s overnight, keep the wind in for your Saturday. Uh, looking pretty good across the valley. Do a little round robin temperatures right there. You can see winds out of the south southwest. Notice that's not a cold northerly flow, but that doesn't mean it won't feel blustery at times, especially if you get up early when the temperatures are still in the 50s and 60s. You might feel a little chilly. You might grab that light jacket or sweater. You might need that in the evening hours if those winds keep up as well. So here's the next seven. Okay. Still setting clocks back. We don't want to forget about that. I want to talk to Carla about that for sure. Uh, see her feeling on that. We're all, we're, I think we're all rolling our eyes about that. Why are we still doing this, right? Uh, got the 70s and some areas will be in the 60s, so that hasn't changed very much. But you can see next week temperatures look like they move up and, temp and really everything kind of stays calm. But we have wind for the weekend and early next week, just the chances for rain have really been greatly reduced. All right, Carla, yeah, what do you think you about setting clocks back? I mean, you know, that gives us an extra hour. That should be a good thing, right? Yeah, psychologically, but I think the, the older you get and the more you have going on in your life, the, mm -hmm. the less it matters.